of the men and women who boldly declared their freedom from foreign domination in the Philippines. We honor the country where many of us trace our roots from. My name is Benet Misalucha, and I am a proud Filipino-American. How many in the audience are proud Filipino-Americans? Raise your hand. Which is most fitting as freedom is what we are really doing things for. As we look with ourselves who have a contributed immensely to the Philippines social economic development and enriched the US community that you now belong to. And to your future and that of the Philippines we be be blessed with peace and prosperity. Mabuhay. All right, mahalo. Thank you. You may now be seated. So. Sino ang Pilipino? Mabuhay! The Philippines is June 12. It goes back to June 12, 1898, 125 years ago. Hey guys, I need your attention. Listen up. The people's friend will be coming shortly to our house to help me knock on the wall in the living room. But in your health and cooperation, okay? Okay, then. Got it. Dad, why don't you knock down the walls? I like it, I said, hey. I don't know. Here in our house is so old. I mean, like, really, really old. Women have been the bridge and portal of faith and life. Or indigenous people in Mindanao are rich and diverse. With a wide range of languages, chants, rituals, and dances, and other traditions.
Catiponeros were retaking control over many Spanish ports and seats of power. What a glorious and triumphant feeling I had when on June 12, in Cowit, formerly known as the town of Cavite, El Viejo, in the province of Cavite, General Emilio Aguinaldo, with, with Rianceras Bautista, reading the historic document, proclaimed the independence of the Philippines from Spain, leading to it becoming the first constitutional democratic republic in Asia. 